Hey guys, Michael here, and I'm back to talk bricks. Today we're talking This Week in Bonus LEGO News, where every Saturday I bring you the LEGO stories you need to know. We've got another insane week of LEGO news with reveals from Star Wars, modular buildings, city Minecraft creator, and more. Plus, could we be getting LEGO Among Us? Plus, my LEGO Masters podcast, Talk Bricks Masters, is back, so be sure to check out my preseason interview with the casting director all about season two, using the links in the description below. And I'll kick off another round of the weekly giveaway. Just subscribe and leave a comment about this week's news. And of course, I'm back with LEGO deals from Amazon and across the web, so if you want to pick anything up to support the channel, there's links in the description below. First up from LEGO Ideas, we've got the Central Perk for 20% off. From LEGO Star Wars, we've got the Pasana Speeder Chase for 40% off. From LEGO Brickheads, we've got the Reindeer, Elf, and Elfie Brickheads for 25% off. From LEGO Marvel, we've got the Avengers Compound Battle for 30% off. From LEGO Hidden Side, we've got El Fuego Stunt Plane for 30% off, and actually, a lot of the sets are 30% off at Best Buy. From Jurassic World, we've got the Triceratops Rampage for 33% off. Target still has sets from 20 to 40% off. And the LEGO Levi's Collection is half off, plus an additional 40% off with coupon. Plus, Walmart and Target still have the Wonder Woman and Mario exclusives. Over at Zavi, surprisingly, they've got the Batman TV series Batcave back in stock and other deals as part of their Black Friday sale. Over at Lego, it's Black Friday weekend. With your purchase of $150, you can get the Charles Dickens exclusive. Plus, they've got a ton of sets 20% off, including the Tanta V4, Slave 1, VW Bus, and Steamboat Willie. But sadly, if you're looking to get the Chariot promo with the new Coliseum set, it's already sold out. But while you're there, be sure to check out the VIP portal where there's discounted items and your channel chance to win 1 million VIP points. And if you want to support the channel, there's links to everything below. Next up from LEGO Star Wars, they've revealed four new sets, and they're doing things a little bit differently this year, remaking some classic sets in a smaller scale. First up, we've got Luke Skywalker's X-Wing. This set will retail for $49.99, whereas the previous version retailed for $80. And the ship itself still looks really nice, with a lot of interesting new parts and details. But there's still an opening cockpit, opening wings, a spot for R2-D2, and spring-loaded shooters, just like the previous version. But it's all still there, with some of the details instead being captured by stickers. This set includes three minifigures, with Luke Skywalker with the older helmet on the left, Princess Leia on the right, and at the center we've got a new character in General Dodonna, who looks really great with the printing on the torso and the legs. Next, we've got the Imperial TIE Fighter. This set will retail for $39.99, down from the previous version, which retailed for $70. While this version of the ship does feel a little scaled down, they managed to capture all the shaping really well on the wings. Not to mention that the cockpit is still its full size and can hold one minifigure. And this slightly smaller scale probably makes it even more swooshable. This set also includes three minifigures, with a TIE Fighter pilot on the left, the newer version of the Stormtrooper on the right, and exclusive to this set is NIL-8 Protocol Droid, which seems like a slight update from the droid from the Death Star. Next up, we've got the Millennium Falcon Microfighter for $9.99, which is a remake of the original version. While the build is only updated slightly, it's a nice small set to get this version of Han Solo. And the final set in this January wave is Trouble on Tatooine, which will retail for $29.99. We talked a bit about this set in last week's video, but we got high-res additional photos, and the set still looks great. And for only $30, it feels like they pack a lot in there, with the great speeder bike for the Mandalorian, with a spot for Baby Yoda. There's a nice Tusken Raider tent, this awesome Tusken Raider ballista, but it's also the cheapest set to get the Mandalorian and the child, and he's even in this awesome new Beskar armor. And thanks to LEGO YouTuber Just Too Good, we can see even more new sets in the instruction booklets for the these ones. We're also going to be getting a new Imperial Shuttle, which will retail for $70, down from the previous version, which retailed for $100. But despite everything, this is still at a really significant scale. And the set will come with Darth Vader, an Imperial pilot, and Luke Skywalker, surprisingly with a blue lightsaber. For the Microfighters line, we've got Tauntaun vs. AT-AT, which features Luke Skywalker on the Tauntaun and an AT-AT pilot. And finally, for the 4 Plus line, we've got the Resistance X-Wing, which doesn't look too bad, and comes with Poe Dameron and BB-8. From what I'm seeing, I'm very encouraged about this new direction, as it's going to make Star Wars sets far more affordable. And if you want to check out these sets and support the channel, I've left links in the description below. This week, we also got the reveal of the latest modular building, the police station. This set will contain 2,923 pieces and retail for $199.99 and features that 18 plus box design, which sadly is a departure from the beautiful boxes we got previously. That being said, this latest modular building does not disappoint with tons of great detail. The police station is sandwiched in between two skinnier buildings with a donut shop on the left and a newsstand out front on the right. And this modular building really looks great from all sides, and even features a large billboard on the side of the building. Just like the other modular buildings, you can open up each floor for play inside. While the donut shop is a little small, it's super cute and detailed. And the inside of the police station has all of the different elements they need, including a jail cell, and I really love this hilarious bulletin board with a great use of that rubber band piece. And there's definitely a lot of stories you can play out. This set also includes five minifigures, and my favorite are definitely these 1940s-inspired police 
police officers. Overall, I'd say the police station is a fitting addition to the modular city, as it has its unique design elements and stands out from some of the other buildings. And if you want to pick up this set when it comes out on January 1st and support the channel, I've left links in the description below. But don't worry, we've got tons of 2021 sets from LEGO City, Minecraft, Creator, and more to break down. First from LEGO City, we've got the police boat. The set itself has a nice overall look, and it's always great to get these boats that actually float. While the boat is mostly made up of large pieces, it's pretty effective and it has a net shooter at the front. Plus, these LEGO City crooks are stepping it up with their submarines. This set features five minifigures, including three named characters from the LEGO City Adventure show. Next from LEGO Minecraft, we've got the Coral Reef. These smaller sets are perfect for getting some fun characters, and the Coral Reef provides a unique setting. And this set also includes mobs for the Pufferfish, a minifigure for Alex, as well as this awesome underwater zombie, the Drowned. Next up, we've got the Pig House. We've gotten other animal-themed houses in LEGO before, but this one is particularly hilarious. The entire thing opens up to play inside, and there's even a fun feature where you can blow up the house. This set includes four characters, with two pigs, Alex, and a creeper. Next up, there are five new sets for LEGO Creator. First up, we've got the three-in-one surfer beach house. This one has a really fun and colorful look, and the entire thing can be opened up to play inside. And I think this set could be easily added to your LEGO City. And as with the other Creator sets, you can rebuild it. Next up, we've got the Wild Lion, which looks really great in that flame orange color and is completely poseable. It also features the small rib build and a vulture. And here we can see one of the rebuilds of the Warthog. Next up, we've got the Cyber Drone, which is really a futuristic plane with a cool look. It can be rebuilt into this small mech, this cool speeder bike, and it comes with this great minifigure with the exclusive face that's definitely reminiscent of classic space figures. Next up, we've got the Super Motor Bike, which has a really nice look in that medium azure color. And it can be rebuilt into this classic chopper or this interesting hover bike with the wheels on the side. And finally, we've got the Race Car Transporter, which features a green truck that holds these two Formula F1 race cars, which gives a lot of options for play. Plus, here we can see one of the rebuilds, which is this cool crane. Next, from LEGO Technic, we got the reveal of the Ferrari 488 GTE. This set includes 1,677 pieces and retails for $169.99. These larger scale Technic cars are always a fan favorite, and I think this one captures the car's design really nicely. And as you might expect, this one features front and back suspension, opening doors, and a V8 engine with moving pistons and functioning steering wheel. And these large Technic sets always make a great display piece. And if you want to pick up this set when it comes out and support the channel, I've left a link in the description below. Next up, thanks to foreign retailers, we also got our first look at the 18 plus botanical collection. First up, we've got the flower bouquet, which contains 756 pieces and will retail for $49.99. This set is extremely unique as it uses the Lego pieces in a way that we don't typically see to make this beautiful bouquet of flowers. And for adult fans, I think this would make a really unique display as you put them in a real vase in your home. And the other set is the bonsai tree, which contains 878 pieces and also retails for $49.99. The build here recreates the look of the bonsai really nicely, especially the ornamental dish that it sits in on that wooden platter. And this set would make an excellent display because you can display it with green leaves or with the other leaves to make it look more like a mini cherry blossom. While these definitely aren't for everyone, I'm very curious to see these ones in person. Next up over at LEGO Ideas, there's an all new poll to select the 150th Brickhead. You may recall that the 100th Brickhead was the sheep and was a little bit unceremonious for the 100th one. So for 150, LEGO's changing it up and letting you decide between Minecraft, Star Wars, Lilo and Stitch, and Jaws. For Minecraft, we have gotten one two-pack with Steve and the Creeper, but obviously there's a ton of other characters to choose from. As for Star Wars, it's probably the license that already has the most LEGO brickheads, and while I'd love to see another one for 150, I think we could change it up. And for me, my vote's probably on Lilo and Stitch, as the only thing we've gotten from that franchise is the minifigure from the collectible series, and this LEGO Ideas project, which sadly wasn't approved twice. But I also think Jaws could be a fun one, as the only thing we've gotten in LEGO is this parody poster in the Stranger Things Upside Down set. But of course, we'll have to wait and see, and if you want to cast your vote, I've left a link in the description below. Next up in LEGO Store News, we've got the December 2020 calendar. From the 1st through the 24th, you can get this free ice skating rink with purchases over $150. And this one actually looks pretty cool as it uses those large gears to have them spin around on the ice. And from the 1st through the 15th, you can get this free VIP holiday gift set with purchases over $40, which has LEGO themed items to wrap your gifts. In store only from the 14th through the 24th, you can also get this free train poly bag with purchases over $40. And from the 7th through the 27th, you can enter the VIP monthly sweepstakes to win a signed photo from Paul Bettany, who played Vision in Avengers. Next up in LEGO Ideas news, there was a whopping four projects that hit 10,000 supporters on the platform. So let's break them all down. First up, we've got Among Us, The Skeld. Straight out of the massively popular murder mystery game Among Us, we've got The Skeld, which is this ship that
that you navigate throughout the game. And while it doesn't feature the entire map, it does feature the cafeteria, electrical and storage rooms, engine room, and reactor and lobby area. If you're a fan, you can definitely tell that the designer did a really nice job capturing the ship's details. Not to mention, these minifigure Among Us characters are really well done with all their different hats and pets. I know a lot of you guys would love to get an Among Us set, and I'm very curious to see how this one will do in the next round of review. Next up, we've got Wallace and Gromit, which features many iconic builds from the series. And for those who don't know, LEGO actually did a large build of Gromit for a charity auction. The builds for Wallace and Gromit and all the other details are spot on, and you'll see that they also have the Cooker, Feathers McGraw, and Shaun the Sheep built here. And as a huge fan of these animations growing up, it's surprising how well they were able to capture that unique aesthetic in LEGO Bricks. With lots of posability and character, I think this would make a really cool set, but of course we'll have to wait and see. Next up, we've got the Car Wash, which features this amazing late 50s Art Deco tropical design. Built in the modular building style, there are so many different details amongst all the different floors, but nothing more iconic than the giant guitar outside. The build, of course, features the car wash, a music store, and so many other iconic details, and I think this one would make an awesome addition to the town, especially next to the downtown diner. But while these modular style buildings often make it to the review, they rarely ever make it through, so I'm very curious about this one. And finally, we've got the Milwaukee Art Museum. This unique building was originally designed by architect Santiago Calatrava and features this really unique curved design. This project's designer did a really nice job capturing this unique shaping, and I think this would make a really cool addition to your other LEGO architecture sets. And again, while a lot of these micro-scale architecture sets make it to the review round, I don't believe we've seen one make it through, so I'm very curious to see. So there you have it, folks. That was this week in bonus LEGO news, and the hits definitely keep coming week after week with with all these crazy 2021 reveals. I'm pretty excited about the new Star Wars sets and that modular building, but my wallet's a little sore after all the Black Friday shopping. If you haven't already, be sure to check out my podcast, Talk Bricks Masters, and leave this video a thumbs up down below as it really helps the channel. And don't forget to subscribe because I'll be back next Saturday with even more LEGO news. And let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you think about all the stories? And which one are you most excited about? And now we've got this week's giveaway winner. Congratulations, and be sure to email me from the about page on my channel so we can coordinate about the prize. And if you want to enter this week's round, just leave me a comment about this week's news. You must be a subscriber to win, and definitely turn on notifications to find out when my next video is posted, because I'll be announcing the winners at the end of some of the videos. That's all the time we've got for today. Thanks, and have a good one! Hey guys, Michael here. Click to watch last week's video featuring Marvel, Harry Potter, Ninjago, Super Mario, and so much more, and don't forget to subscribe.